Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'll share with you Pixel 6 and 6 Pro users how you can get custom always on displays working on your Android phones. Taking them from the basic stock look and allowing you to customize them to something like these. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now before we get started, let's make it clear that this method does not bring you native customization to your always on displays. That's sadly something that only Google can do. So rather consider this a workaround that you can try to bring you an added level of customization. Simply put, we're going to replace the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro always on displays with our own custom replacements. So having said that, let's start off by disabling the native always on display. For this, we're simply going to head into our phone settings and under display, you're going to find an option for lock screen. Now here, we simply want to scroll further down and toggle off always show time and information as well as the option for wake screen or notification. So now that we have that out of the way, here are my two recommendations for always on display replacement apps that you can try out. The first of which is always on edge music lighting, which brings with it not only an always on display, but also a music visualizer. Just simply install the app and make sure to allow it all of the permissions that it needs in order to work properly, including managing your notifications as well as displaying on top of other apps. And additionally, make sure to click on each one of these buttons here to enable each one of their functions. Now right out of the gate, you'll be welcomed by the visualizer selection screen, which you can swipe through to select the one that you want to set to your phone. So feel free to check this out later on. But for this quick tutorial, we're more interested in the AOD button within the lower menu. Here, you'll be able to select from a handful of always on display layouts. And with each one, you'll be able to fully customize them, including adjusting the colors. My favorite from the list is this Android 12 themed look. Now the app is free to try out yourselves. However, to unlock the full set of features, you will need to upgrade to the premium version. Now by default, this app is set to timeout after 30 minutes. So make sure to also head to the settings menu and set the timeout option to never if you want to keep the custom display always shown. Having said that, for those of you worried about screen burning issues, sadly outside of the timeout option, there's no other guaranteed protection option available. But that's where some of you might want to turn to the second app instead, a simple lightweight alternative called Always On. Now this one is what I'm using currently myself. It doesn't have the most stunning user interface, however, it does come with a wide range of customization options, including color adjustment and more, working much like the first app. Now personally, I did find that this one wouldn't show my notifications on the lock screen, but by simply turning on the notification count, I can see exactly how many notifications I got, which in my case suits me well. But what I do love about this app, even over the stock AOD, is this floating animation, which not only adds screen burn protection, but also a dynamic feel to our idle phones. And as for that annoying persistent notification, just simply turn it off within your phone's app notification settings. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.